So after Earth Day in 1970, people in San Francisco, people all over the country wanted to act locally. And one thing that people discovered they could do was start to open up recycling centers. It was just a little laid back operation and um, Ed Dunn Sr. would run the whole thing out of his overalls. He basically warned us about it getting too big because it would become a political problem somewhere down the line if it got too big. Their argument is really based on a kind of very nasty discrimination. They believe the recycling center attracts homeless people. It is a policy consideration. It is not the be all end all, but our mission is to try to keep the park and park users healthy and safe. What this really is about is an attack on poor people. We're not doing anybody any favors by allowing them to subsist at a sub poverty level. You know, like I said, being on a fixed income, it's, it's, it's always going to be a time when I need some money. That's going to be like pretty much every day. This is really about the top 1%, making sure the bottom 1% doesn't have the opportunity to get a couple nickels to scratch together. San Francisco has this reputation of being forward thinking and cutting edge, but to be honest with you, it's really kind of a facade. I was always sort of imbued with the hope or the spirit that, you know, that you can fight City Hall and you can win. Our group's pretty confident that we're going to be able to work something out. We're going to be able to hold this space. We're going to be able to turn it into something that is more of a community vision than a city decision. I try and keep a little bit of power in a situation designed to make me powerless, which is, you know, dealing with the police. Sometimes when we disobey, you know, we bring the violence to the surface. 